there are 52 modifiers in blender and it would be awesome if you know all of the 52 modifiers so today we are doing exactly that in this video we will uh, cover all the 52 modifiers and you will try to use them so if you want to continue then watch the video if not then skip the video so let's get started The modifiers are divided into four main categories. The number one is the modify, the number two is generate, and the number three is deform, and the number four is simulate. So the most important are the generate and the deform. So I think we should start it from the generator and then we will go to the deform and then simulate and then in the last we will cover the modify. So first of all, this is array modify. So array is a modifier which generate an object in a, in a specific direction. So for example if we have this cube and we apply the array modifier. So as you can see it's generate. So first of all what we need is to define uh, the distance. So here is the distance. It is in the x direction as you can see. So if we change the distance as you can see the object is going far from the original object. So if we make it 2 and now we what we need to do is to increase the count. So as you can see now the object is generating in that, in that direction. If you want you can also uh, try to increase the distance, uh, increase the direction and you can get some of the uh, cool and new result. Uh, it would be more handy if you use a curve modifier with it. So we will cover that later. So now jumping to the number 2 uh, which is bevel modifier. So bevel modifier is a modifier which bevel the edges of an object. For example this, this these edges are now so sharp. So if you want to bevel it so what we need to do is go to the modifier and simply click on the bevel. As you can see the edges are bevel. Now we can uh, use this segment if you want decrease the uh, increase the segment you will get a smoother result so jumping to the number three which is the uh, boolean modifier boolean modifier is a modifier which uh, boolean into two objects there are three section of it one the one number one is difference union and intersect okay so let me explain it with an example so first of all we have this cube so if we duplicate it with shift D and then grab it somewhere around there and now uh, we need to cut it out okay so uh, I will scale it a bit down with S and now select the original object and add this boolean which I already add and then select the object which you want to cut out so I select this one and if I apply at the difference so as you can see this is the result uh, our object is cut out from this you can uh, create doors in wall or tires in a car or anything related to it so it's uh, a very good modifier to use it so let's jump in to the number four so the number four is the uh, bold mod modifier it's a modifier which rebuild an object for example if we want an animation uh, for this uh, task I think I need to uh, add a monkey head so shift a and go for the monkey head okay so this is a monkey head we will right click to smooth it and now uh, I think the flat one is better now if we uh, add a bold modifier as you can see the object is now uh, pretty much hide so here we can uh, uh, add the start point and the length but if we play the animation as you can see the object is building at your own so at this modifier you can create some of the an awesome animation you can uh, work more on this uh, but in this video i will just cover uh, the basics of all modifier so let's jump into the number uh, five modifier which is the decimate for example if you have a sculpted mesh and that have a lot of uh, triangles and vertices and a lot of uh, unwanted geometry 
For example, like this is a monkey head and I will turn on the dino topo to add some of the details. Okay. So now if we go to the edit mode as you can see there are a lot of like vertices uh, around there which is uh, pretty much un unwanted and it can slow our PC. So what we need to do is just to add a decimate modifier. Decimate modifier will decrease the countdown of it, uh, increase uh, decrease the vertices count. So uh, here is a simple setting just we need to do is to make this ratio decrease. So how much? Uh, let me try 0.1 and let's see how is it working if I apply it as you can see now uh, it removes many vertices and now our object is a little uh, low poly so if you want to try if you have a high poly sculpt and you want to uh, work better so you need to add this modifier and it will uh, decrease the poly counts so the next one is the edge split modifier so basically it split all of the edges if we uh, add this modifier and then if we if, if, apply it so if we go to the edit mode as you can see the edges will be slipped, uh, split so as you can see I grab these vertices and as you can see this all of the edges are spread from each other uh, you can also do it manually uh, I will show you the trick so I will add a cube and if you want to split uh, this edge so I will select this edge and if you want to split it and th then just uh, press V and as you can see the edge is now split so the next modifier is so the next modifier is the mask modifier uh, it's uh, a modifier uh, which hide the uh, and a part of object uh, in the viewport and also in the rendered okay so you can I know you can do it manually by clicking these options uh, but this modifier work perfect if you have a character and you uh, just hide the body so in this case I will just uh, if you if I want to select this space and I want to hide it in the rendered and the viewport so what I can do is uh, just select it and then go to the groups and then create another group of vertex and then assign those areas which you wanna hide. So I assign this one and then I go here and select the group. So now if we go to the edit mode as you can see this uh, one is not hide and the other object is hide. So we want the uh, opposite of it so for that we just need to click on this option. So as you can see. Uh, this object is now uh, the effect is now hide uh, because I uh, hide these four vertices so that's why it's uh, making this shape okay so jumping to the next uh, which one uh, which is the mirror modifier so mirror modifier is a modifier which mirror an object for example if we have this cube and we want uh, let me grab it first in the edit mode select all and if I grab it there and if I want the same cube at this side at the same uh, mirror distance so what I need to do is uh, add this mirror modifier and this will make this one opposite okay but before uh, applying this modifier we just need to control a and then make it all transform okay so now if we add the mirror modifier uh, in the y direction so as you can see uh, our object is now mirrored so it can be very helpful uh, some of the, some of the times that you just uh, try to create one side and the other side will uh, bolt automatically so it's really helpful sometimes so okay so jump into the uh, next uh, which is the multi resolution modifier it's same like subdivision modifier it uh, subdivide the object okay uh, let me explain it with an example so for example if we have this cube and we want the same geometry but we want to sculpt it or we want to edit the object so for that this modifier work well so as you can see I add it and now if I click on the subdivide it will subdivide it 
so i will do it three times as you can see it's now spare but the geometry is the same if you go to the edit mode as you can see there are just uh five faces and uh, there are just uh, uh, 12 edges and eight verses okay so this modifier uh, work is best for sculpting if you want to sculpt the character but want the same geometry so it can be very helpful but if you apply it it will now uh, the geometry will be changed so you just need to don't apply it okay so jumping to the next one let me undo it okay so jump into the next one which is the remesh for example if you have a sculpted mesh and you want to remesh it okay uh, if the geometry doesn't look good to you so you can uh, remesh it uh, let me show you first i will do some simple sculpting with dino topo okay And now if we go to the edit mode as you can see the geometry is pretty much bad so for that uh, we use the remesh so it will remesh it as you can see if we apply this so as you can see the geometry is pretty much fixed now and it's now a square geometry okay So the next one uh, is this cream modifier. So basically, uh, it need something like a, it doesn't need enough geometry. Uh, it need a curved uh, object or a wide object, and it can convert it to uh, an image. Uh, let me show you an example. So I will delete this cube, and I will shift A and add in a circle. And in this circle, I will go to the edit mode and will rotate it at x 90 degree. Okay, and now uh, we will grab this one to the x a bit as you can see. So, this is now uh, there is not enough geometry, this is just a curved like a curved object. So, if we apply uh, the screen modifier, as you can see, it converted to this kind of thing. So uh, it can also be very helpful there are also some of the more option as you can see this one so we can also create as like a spring or anything related to it very easily okay so jumping to the next one uh, let me delete this one jumping to the next one uh, which is the skin modifier so skin modifier as you can see from the name uh, it convert everything to like a skin for example if we have this cube and you, as you can see this is the cube geometry so it convert these edges into a skin okay uh, let me show you if we apply the skin modifier so as you can see the edges are converted now okay uh, so if we go to the edit mode select all and then go to the Z uh, wireframe so if you uh, try to scale it with S it will select the whole object scale the whole object uh, so if you want just to uh, decrease the thickness for that uh, can control a and it will scale it down okay so this is a, a little trick for it so uh, you can also uh, add some loop with control R like this and as you can see it's converting it to this kind of object okay so it's pretty much handy let me delete it and jump into the next one uh, which is the subdivision modifier subdivision modifier uh, is a modifier which uh, which increase the number and which make the object uh, a bit smoother for example uh, we was having the cube and apply it and by increasing the value as you can see it's becoming spare and it's becoming uh, more smooth and as you can see if I apply it uh, the geometry is also increased okay uh, it's pretty much similar to the multi resolution add-on uh, multi resolution modifier but it's a bit uh, different format okay so jumping to the next uh, which is the triangle so this is a cool add-on uh, and it's uh, good if you want 
to make something uh, to model something for 3d printing in 3d printing uh, you doesn't need the square geometry the triangle geometry work well in that okay so now as you can see we have the square geometry so if you want to convert it to triangle so uh, for that just add this modifier and then make it apply and as you can see uh, every face is now converted to that triangle okay uh, there there is also uh, let me uh, undo it there is a, also a keyboard shortcut for that uh, as you can see it is now uh, triangular shape so if I uh, press ctrl T so as you can see it's converted to triangles okay so you can use the shortcut or the modifier it's up to you so jumping to the next one uh, which is the wireframe so it's a bit similar to the scan modifier but uh, I think it's yeah, uh, it's pretty much different from it uh, it's also converted to wire as you can see from the name wireframe okay so if I apply it to this cube it will convert this cube into uh, this kind of wire so we can increase the thickness but, but as you can see uh, the geometry is pretty much different from the skin modifier okay and if we go to the edit mode as you can see it's becoming cube again because we didn't apply this one so let me apply it and as you can see our object is here okay again we will add a cube so the last one in the generate category is the weld modifier so for example uh, if we have this cube and we duplicate it and we right click to make it to the default position so now we have uh, 16 vertices instead of 8 because we duplicate the object and the uh, vertices are here so if you want to merge them together and remove the double vertices so this add-on uh, this modifier will work so if I apply it uh, add it and then apply it and then go to the edit mode as you can see the vertices is, is again to add it mean like it merge the uh, double vertices so this will end this video because this was the part one and in the part one we covered these alls okay so in the next uh, part two we will cover this and in the last one uh, we will co color uh, cover this okay so bye for now and thank you so much for watching